Welcome back to Limitless, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Um, Today is kind of going to be a bit of a build update. Been a busy couple of weeks and haven't really accomplished a lot. Had some issues along the way, and hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so first up, I had. Uh, my one push rod here seemed to be a little bit off center. So I'm gonna be, well, I did a little notch in there. Just when you twisted it, it kind of moved like this on the one end. Uh, so I'm gonna be re-welding that back up. Um, went to go do some work with aluminum and turns out AC function is not working very well on my welder. So trying to sort that out with the manufacturer, I think it's a board issue. Um, so moved on to other things, figured out what I'm doing for the drive shaft. Uh, as you guys know, the Hayabusa engine on the output sprocket is gonna be, you know, if I'm in max RPM and six gear, I'm looking at 10,000 RPM. So not, not any drive shaft is gonna work for this thing. So I'm going to high speed CV. Uh, so what I've done is I purchased a front shaft from a, a F-150 with CVs and purchased all of the parts for it, the both sides of it as well, so I can you know make some adapters. And as it turns out, the F-150 one is not a rebuildable CV. So Ford has these little clips that are actually internal. Let's see if I can get a better view here. So normally you would have a C clip in here, and you undo the C clip and then slide off the joint. However, these are actually internal. Uh, they grab inside of there, so not not easy to pull apart. I had to, you know, slide a bunch of pins. I had to slide a bunch of pins along the uh, splines in order to get it to slide off. Uh, so the, the pins kind of compress this into the groove, and then uh, then I was able to get it apart. So this is going to be on the engine side. So I'm going to be cutting it off probably somewhere in here. I'm going to have to sleeve this to a little bit bigger diameter right here um, so that I have room to bore it out for the nut on the inside. And the other side is going to be this one. And the reason I'm not using this on the other side is because the slip yoke, or the slip, like the uh, CV that actually slides back and forth, has a little bit of play, allows for a slightly larger angle with the same RPM. Um, and since I'm gonna be tipping this towards the shaft, or towards the output on the transmission, um, it's going to, that side's gonna have more of an angle. This side will be pretty much even. So on this side, I'm actually gonna have to double sleeve this one because it's too big. And because this is the, uh, the adapter that goes onto the splines of the transmission. So once I cut that and cut this piece off, slide it in there, it needs to slide into a sleeve. So I'll sleeve the inside of here, weld it all up, bore the inside out to fit this, press that in, weld that all up, and then that'll be good. Well, I'm also gonna do a bearing on the outside of this one to sh support the weight of the shaft, because it's such a small shaft, I definitely don't want it uh, flexing around too much. 
Um, as you can see, I've also gotten the tabs all tacked in place for the rear suspension or rear control arms. Um, that'll be the next thing that I can do. Cause yeah, my, my DC is working fine on the welder. It's just AC that's not working. And then I had a bunch of other stuff going on at the same time. Um, a bunch of parts came in. Well, it's here. I know it's not very exciting for you guys probably, but I've been waiting a while for these and it helps me progress on the build. So what we have here is a 16 inch overall length uh, adjustable coilover. I got the bearings in the ends. Allows for a little bit more misalignment. Um, 250 pound shock per inch. And I had to go with a 16 inch because I needed to be able to have at least four inches of travel. Uh, so they are adjustable. And they did have to make them slightly different apparently so that they could be mounted horizontally. Not sure if you guys have seen it already, but I've got my radiator. So the radiator is gonna be in there. Obviously I gotta cut both ends completely off and start from scratch on that. Got in my exhaust flex joint finally or the bellows, whatever you would want to call it. Frickin' thing costs a fortune. Yeah, still some other parts I'm waiting on. I need uh, a new um, left rear spindle or knuckle, whatever you would want to call it. Uh, this one has some damage in the top from whoever pulled it apart. So, trying to find another one of those. Um, I'm also designing my pedal box from scratch right now. Um, I don't think I can really get a floor mounted one in here without taking up too much space for your feet. That's the biggest thing is I'm trying to keep as much space for my feet as I can. So I'm going to be doing a hanging pedal set, uh, designing it in the computer right now. And need some of the parts for that in order to finish designing before I can get it all laser cut. Uh, so I can also now mount the, the rear transmission here. So I'm going to do it a little differently than I did the first time. I'm going to just use a plate for this. Do a bar across in the bottom and then a bar across at the top and I'll have the plate and I'll step it out because I have a five degree tilt on this as well to match up with the engine. So lots of stuff happening but not happening very fast at the moment. Got other things going on outside the house working on a buddy's patio. Just wanted to keep you guys updated and thank you for checking it out. Back to the drawing board. <laughs>